when Dad dies, he had this really shit blog, like before Tumblr was even a thing. And you just thought he just invented space travel. He was fucking beaming for days. <laughs> Running upstairs to put another blog on. Gotta keep me views up, son. And he'd look at me like, see? We understand each other. But I told him, no fucker in their right mind wants to read about middle-aged running clubs. And he said, that's where you're wrong, son. That's where you're so very wrong. He used to say that a lot. I try not to let me get to him, as I used to like to undermine him, even though I loved him. Oh. And when he signed up for the London Marathon, he attached it to his Just Given page. It was like he'd landed on the fucking moon. Mum said it was unfair that someone that fit should just drop down dead. And then a friend said, it's always the ones you least expect. And I told her to go fuck herself. In my head. Not out loud. Because <laughs> people tend to look at you when it's your dad's funeral. Scarlett did a lot of crying, which was annoying. Mum kept holding my hand, saying, thank you for keeping us all together. We, we need you to keep us all together. And that's when I decided I wasn't going to be what they needed. Online, people create Facebook pages for dead people, and friends, relatives, pets. And my mum wanted me to make a post on his blog, tell everyone what had happened. None of these fucking pen pals, mum. That's not how it works. They'll just think that he gave up blogging for a bit. And then I rolled my eyes for a full stop. I did look at it. Sometimes. Just to see if he had any more views. And then I realised I was the one making the ticker go up.